Welcome once again to Snook from Dole. This is Tyler. And it's PK. And I'm Nick. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about something that I have no interest of. You know why? Why? Because you're not a model. That's why you have no interest in it. Hey Amen. You know, I know the truth. Something can be hold back a little bit. You know. So we'll, we just we just grab the just top you're not five. Tall. The top. That's why you don't want to talk about it. Oh, Mr. Basketball, I can dunk, man. No. Mm. <laughs> Jeez. All right. We'll put together five top male models and the people who are the most famous make a lot of money. In the, it's in the world, right? Yeah, in the world. Top, top five in the world. Once again, all right. we don't care. Yeah, because... Go number five. Because they're all taller than me. And me. Number five. Let's go with number five, and then we'll see who's up with number five. Number five. Number five. That's... This dude's from France. 25 Charles, years old. Charles. Adrian Sahoris. He, he got into the business since 21, and then he did a lot of, uh, he models for a lot of uh, big name clothing, like Moschino Men, Ralph Simons, and Pierre Beaumain. Oh, which, let's get on to number four. Which I don't want to have. I don't four. care. Yeah, number four. Because he looks too good. Oh, no, you like that? Do you, seriously, you like that? Man, look at that. It's, look at this. Eternity Man. Oh, uh, that, Aqua. No, no, this guy, Calvin Klein. if I was gay, I would look at him. But well, you're not, so you just I'm don't not, look at so him. I'm not, so I just like the Eternity Aqua. All right, Ben <laughs> Hill. Uh, he did Jimmy Shu, uh -huh. Coach Calvin Klein, Hugo Boss, and Kenneth Cole. This guy, I heard, he's like he's really big on the runway too, man. Yeah, he, I mean, he's all the big names, you know, looking out, you know, looking for him. So Ben Hill, you know, if you put an NY on his name, he'll be a comedian. Yeah, Benny Hill. Benny Hill. Yeah. Number three, you read the name. Oh, the name, this one, Clement Chambernard. Clement Chambernard from France. What is it with the France boy, huh? Gee, France is, a, you know, it's a fashion. Icon of the world. Hey, so you know, Bonjour, Jim Mappel, Jim Mappel, Pierre. You know what I think? Because I think French, you know, younger, younger men in France, you know, mm -hmm. I think that that's what they look for, going to be models. Really? I, that's what I think, you know, because a lot of uh, models come out of, uh, you know, France. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, he, he, did, uh, he did the lines of Jill Sander of SS 2012, Valentino, H&M Fall 2011, and Theory Online on Fall uh, of 2011. Mm. That's number three. Let's go to number two from Canada with the height of 180 centimeters. Wow. And his, his sister actually pushed him, pushes him into the, into the modeling Money business. Money. Yeah. Who is this? Uh, is it Simon? His no. name is Simon Nesman. Simon Nesman from Canada. 188. He is 18 centimeters taller than I am. That's a lot though. 18 cent. That's a lot. Who cares, man? What, what do we need to, to change the light bulb? Huh? I can people, I can pay people do that for me, you know. I'm rich, yeah, bitch. But you, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pissed. He did. He pissed because you're short. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so short I can smell my feet. <laughs> you're so short you gotta use an elevator to get on the curb. <laughs> <laughs> but I play handball on the curb. <laughs> oh, I'll stop. George Armani, Calvin Klein, and he did Vogue too in Japan. A uh, whole bunch of stuff. Who cares? <laughs> number one. Number one. Number one. Who's number one? The guy from American Next Top Model actually shows him to be the hardest. Man in business. You know who he looked like? Who? Like, I, I get played uh, the, uh, the, the movie uh, Us, the all uh, part was James. James Franco? Kind of similar. No. You see? No, you don't think so? Similar. More of Hugh Jackman. You think so? Yeah, like Hugh Jackman lost like 30 kilos. Oh. Some. Well, he did the, the, he did the brands for Calvin Klein, Hugo Boss, Versace, Zara, mm. Gap Denim. Uh, got really famous in 2009 and until now. So. Super famous. So you can see why they, those five, are they are the top male model. and Right now. And we... We're not a model, so you know what's it? But the thing is, you know, maybe next life you, 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 you might be born I don't want to be a model. I don't want to be a You model. don't have to be. You might be taller next I, I don't care. But I, I told you, I can reach the top shelf, man. Really? I can hire people to change the light bulbs. See, the reason I don't want to be a model... Why? Because a model on catwalk, they walk to the edge and they come back. back. Yeah. See? But we MC, we keep walking forward. And right ah, out the door. We keep walking forward. See, see, ah, uh, they have to okay. come. We see, we don't come back to the beginning. We keep, we keep going, going until we. Oh, reach I see. Success. You walk, keep walking to the future. That's right. Okay. Until we reach our success. See, okay. that's why I'm All so right. I'm so blessed by God to give me this shortness and this ugliness. <laughs> you know what? I'll see you guys next time. Or something. Thank you, PK and Nick, and uh, there they were letting us know about the top five world-famous models. Bet you'd like to see that again. Well, what I wanted to see was our names 
for six, seven, and eight. Yeah, okay. oh, it's right there, actually. Right there. You we just didn't show it. Couldn't you didn't recognize me. I'm sorry, I was right there. I thought that was in it. Actually, speaking of, uh, of funny bits, because I really do like the Sinok Sinok, but my favorite bit of the show has to be, Johan, your, your clips. They do make me laugh, and I've actually shared them around my Facebook uh, <laughs> times. I'm really dying to know. Are we going to have another one today? Absolutely. Excellent. Always, always here to please. Today's clip is actually a compilation of funny bits. So, uh, you know, what, what is that, that term when, when you take, uh, what is that, humor? Take pleasure in take other people's pleasure pain? pleasure in other oh. people's misfortune. <laughs> yeah, what was is that called? schadenfreude. Yes, well, that's, that's plenty of it coming up in the clip right now. It's really good looking. It is. Whoa! <laughs> I know. I mean, some of them are, are obviously just acts of stupidity. I mean, yeah. who, who in their right mind would stick their head up into a rotating fan? Yeah. What was that, that guy was, trying to do? <laughs> there was some you almost, good you ones. almost feel like you shouldn't laugh. You almost. Can't help it. Almost. <laughs> but you can't help yourself. Yeah. Though, can you? <laughs> well, it seems, you know, we're, we're coming towards the end of the week and. Are there anything that you have any plans coming up for this weekend? Or? Actually, I do. I've, uh, I've been invited to a Thai wedding. Now, I've been here for many years, and I've been to, uh, to Thai weddings just to the party. They, they tend to really separate, whereas, you know, mm. in Australia and Europe, you tend to, you have, when you have a wedding, you have your ceremony and then straight on to the reception. But over here, it's quite different. So I've been to the reception. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually, for the first time, going along to the ceremony part. And... Uh, it's really hard as a as a foreigner over here. There are so many things that you're learning, and I know that for in a wedding you can't wear black and white. But I found out for the first time today that you can't actually also wear purple. I had no idea that hmm. uh, purple was also. I believe it's for uh, a widow. Uh, I I don't really know. I always thought that uh, you don't because purple is the color of heartbreak. But uh, ah, maybe it's linked to the widow <laughs> thing. But I didn't know that it was so strict. And uh, I, I actually am thinking back, and I've worn pastel purple to mm. weddings before. Maybe if it's a little and on the lighter side. No one yeah, ran up to me <laughs> to throw anything at me. So I don't, I don't know. Well, it's really hard, you know, and as a foreigner for for learning these different things and, and one of the good things perhaps that maybe if our viewers are also experiencing this because we do have a Facebook page mm -hmm. and I'm thinking that maybe if some of our viewers would like to write in when they're doing a first or what do they need to know about cultural issues and Thai issues because Kun Bon does Thai ways mm. um, so maybe Kun Bon can then uh, we can have a look at some of these things for you and, and Kun Bon can address it in Thai ways because uh, there's many things, even attending, uh, attending a funeral at a temple, mm -hmm. you know, what you should and shouldn't do, and, and the different do's and don'ts at, at a wedding, I think, would be really quite interesting. So I think we could get Kun Bon and make her very busy. So if anybody, <laughs> go to our Facebook page, um, click like, so it joins onto your page, and you can uh, drop us a note about what you want to see and uh, things that you want to, to learn as well, because there are many things to learn here that <laughs> you're learning every day. Yes. And of course, if you want to check out those top five world famous models again, we have a YouTube channel that uh, you can repeat as many times as you like. <laughs> and that is on uh, so this is Thailand.tv. Is that right? That's the website, and it does connect to the, the YouTube channel. So either or, they work both ways. There you go. Excellent. Well, good job today. Thank you. I survived. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we will most certainly be welcoming, welcoming you back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess that's it for today, then, isn't it? Right. Well, for everyone here from So This Is Thailand, I'm Johan Wimonchalau. Swadi Kha. I'm Thapani Manawet. Swadi Kha. And I'm Belinda Skinner. Swadi Kha.